we'll start with threading. Um, she's not been seen since last year, is that no. due to a setback? Or? Yeah, she just she hasn't done well over the winter or she hadn't done well over the winter. Uh, we had a few fillies that were in the same boat. Um, and so we said, well, let's just you know, sit back and try and get her fresh and well for Royal Ascot. And so that's what we've done. And, um, but it, you know, obviously there's an element of shot in the dark with not having run her so far. Okay, but she's in good form now. You'd be expecting she appears to be in good form, but you know, it's we're going there fresh rather than the race fit because we wanted to see her sparkling. And uh, do you know which race she'd be aiming for? Um, yeah, she we you know uh, she's aiming definitely for the Duke of Cambridge. I get close, a bit lost with all these names nowadays. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> um, in fact, I, I I did have her down as a Duke of Cambridge contender uh, along with Nia Letty. What yes. can you tell us about her? Yeah, Nia Letty, um, lame after her run at Epsom, which looked pretty frightening when you're um, they're they're lame immediately post race. Mm-hmm. Uh, we I was almost. Uh, you know, planning the, the, the trip to the breeding sheds, um, but it turned out to be her foot, which was uh, you know, a pleasant surprise in actual fact. So she's back, she's fine. Um, I think we can, she appeared not to come down the hill at Epsom, but that's probably down to the fact that, you know, she had, she had one sore foot. Sure. Um, so, you know, we go there, Hopeful again. It's a big, you know, big, big stage for her. But she, you know, in her best form, she very much deserves to be there. Main edition. She's a German one thousand guineas winner. How do you rate that form? Uh, that form is well below uh, Group One or perhaps even Group Two level in the UK. Um, but you know, she was Royal Ascot winner last year. And she's a horse that, that at that time would have said was a, an obvious Guineas contender. She, as we've already said, over threading, she just wasn't thriving early in the year. Um, we decided after the Nell Gwynn that the Guineas was a step too far and we stepped back to the, to the German Guineas. She was in much, much better form going into that race and uh, yeah, I didn't go in, I wouldn't say confident but I went into that race very very hopeful that she was the best horse in the race mm. and that proved to be the case this is back up to first division um, and she's going to have to run a lot better than she did in Germany um, to win this but she deserves to be there and she, she's in good form and that's coronation yes that's coronation a horse I didn't have on my list prior to today, but who has been um, spoken about by the, the team in the yard is J.M. Jackson, two-year-old yeah. with a bit of promise. Uh, huge amount of promise, you know, and, um, you know, to be going to Royal Ascot, we, we've done it before, go, go with a maiden, um, you know, but it's, it's a tall order for a maiden, but, you know, she's a maiden in name only. Uh, she... She's obviously beaten by a very good horse at Thursk, or it looks like she was beaten by a very good horse at Thursk um, first time, and so, you know, first time out, you could have said, we've got another 10 yards, she might have got back up. Um, and she did run a bit green at the end when, when asked to go. And then she's gone to a listed race at Sandown over what was clearly an inadequate trip. Mm-hmm. Um, and again she's beaten by a good horse but she was you know she's running at least a furlong shot of what's going to be her best so um i think that she you know is is there very much on merit Uh, you know just just been saying i don't talk about bankers at royal ascot so and you you must never underestimate the opposition um so you know, it's you know. I, I'm not going to say she's going to take a lot of beating, but I, all I can say is she's there on merit. And she's a she's a big filly, isn't she? She's a big filly, and that's a great advantage. You know, um, going into to Royal Ascot. You know, one of the things to to look at the two year old races um, at Royal Ascot. One of the reasons that you you really can't talk about bankers and why attraction was an outstanding horse in in all our um, horses we've taken to Royal Ascot, uh, you know, 
as a two-year-old, she was she went to Royal Ascot on her fourth start. Mm -hmm. So she'd had three starts and three wins before going there. And that counts for a huge amount when you go to Royal Ascot. And so JM Jackson doesn't have that. She don't, you know, she's got two runs. Um, I'm a huge believer in experience for the two-year-olds and it can be a difficult thing to persuade owners of when their, their two-year-old wins first time or second time uh, and, I, and Royal Ascot is on the board to, to, mm. to say, you know, we should run again. But then you look at horses like Boratino, who I think was having his sixth start when he, when he won the Coventry, and mm -hmm. um, that experience is invaluable when you're going there. There are no doubt plenty of horses we haven't mentioned. Uh, obviously, handicaps are races you do particularly well at, at, at the Royal Meeting. Who else should we be looking out for? Um, you didn't mention Raffle Prize, who'll go to the Queen Mary. She's a very fast filly. Um, and uh, um, who else have you not mentioned? I'm not <laughs> sure. I've got a long list of here. Yeah. And, and this doesn't mean to say, you know, you said we've got a big team. We're always panicking at this stage because the team starts falling apart a little bit, you know, and you, um, you have to... Uh, uh, juggle it all the time it's forever changing well on that note I'll simply leave it on best of luck and Thank I'm sure much. there will be at least one if not plenty more winners from Mark Johnson next week yeah well the important thing is it's, it's the other thing about the meeting you, you, you go there maybe with we hope to go there with 20, 20 runners um, and the, the target the initial target is get one on the score sheet mm. because that's a a very tough thing to do. We got our first winner there in 1995 after having tried for the previous seven years, I think. Um, and since then, I'm not sure if it's if there's been three blank years or two, just two blank years. But luckily, they're a rarity, but they're always a fear. Mm. It doesn't get any easier, actually. It doesn't get any easier. It gets tougher. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, no, thank you.